to the normal eye looking in from the outside you wouldn't think that I was living with any type of disease that I was losing my eyesight anything because I walk around I don't wear glasses I don't ask for help I don't use a walking cane but I do have very low eyesight and I'm living with it so let's break it down <music> So one of the main reasons why I started my YouTube channel was to help bring awareness to the disease that I've been living with potentially my whole life but diagnosed with for the last about eight years. It is called Stargott's disease and it is a macular degenerative disease that affects your retina and your central vision. So what Stargott's disease is, again, it is a macular dystrophy disease that affects your retina. It's the back of your eye, it's not the front of your eye. And what the retina does, the retina is the nerve that, the sensor that when you see an image, it brings the, sense, the signal up to the brain to, for recognition and tells the brain what the eye is seeing, <laughs> what's in front of you. So that for me is distorted and it is degenerating slowly but surely. I won't be going blind, but my vision, my sight, I should say, is decreasing. Everybody always asks me, can you get glasses? Can you get LASIK? It's not my eye that's messed up. <laughs> it's the back of my eye. It's my retina. So I wear glasses here and there. They help a little bit when I'm in front of the computer at work. But for the most part, I can live my day-to-day -day life without them. So I do. <laughs> I want to put these videos into kind of a series of videos. I don't want to flood you all with information all at once, so in this video I'm just going to talk about, again, what Stargots is, my journey up to being diagnosed to having Stargots, and then I'll go from there. In other videos I will talk about how Stargots affects my work life, my dating life, the accessibilities tools that I use on my phone to help me and really break it down how it is to live with this disability. In the Star Gods community, we call Star Gods SD, so when you hear me say that, that's what I'm referring to, Star Gods disease. Star Gods is a genetic disease that you get, it's a gene from your mom and a gene from your dad, and they come together and your kid has Star Gods. My mom grew up always wearing glasses her whole life. If she takes off her glasses, she's legally blind. My dad grew up 2020 vision, never wearing glasses, so it's just you never know. Um, so growing up, I lived the normal child life. Went to elementary school, high school, college. My eyesight was fine. I did get glasses in high school. I was having a little trouble looking at the board. But I just got regular prescription glasses and I didn't think anything of it. I didn't wear them every day. It wasn't that strong or it, didn't, it wasn't that effective for me glasses. So I didn't wear them like that. Um, so I graduated from college. I had an office job at a hospital. I was a director of a modeling school and I had to travel from to different states to teach so I would have to drive from Boston to Connecticut or Boston to New York, drive in Texas. So I was very independent, normal life. Um, as I was getting older, I could see signs that something was wrong with my eyes, especially when I was driving in the dark at night. I was having trouble reading the signs and I couldn't tell how far or close cars in front of me were, so it was getting a little dangerous. So I asked my eye doctor, what's up? And they referred me to go see a retina specialist. So made that appointment, they did a bunch of tests on me, dilated my eyes, 
blue puff smoke in my eyes, took all these pictures, it was a long process and the doctor came back to me and told me, Natasha, you have Stargots disease. And I'm like, one hand, thank you, finally figuring out what it is. The other hand, I'm like, dang, I got a disease and to top it off, there is no cure right now. Currently, there is no cure for Stargots. They're doing a bunch of research, they're doing a bunch of clinical trials, but right now there is no cure for what I have. So it was kind of a punch in the gut, but it didn't affect me too hard. It didn't put me in a state of depression or anything because I couldn't really see the effects. I was still living my normal day-to-day -day life. Um, so as years gone by, I could see that it was getting harder for me to drive. So eventually I stopped driving. I no longer have my license. I no longer drive. It's better for me and everybody around. <laughs> it's safer that way. Um, and that's about all that I cannot do with Stargots. I work a regular 9 to 5. I travel. I date. I do it all. I just don't drive. But I have the option to drive and I'll break that down in another video. That's the history. So again, I grew up, I was thankful to God that I was able to go through school and learn who I am and learn life skills before this disease actually affected me because most people, they get it when they're younger and have to live their whole life with Star God. So thank you, Lord. I was blessed. Today, as of today, how is my eyesight? So, or what do I see? How do I see? So, star glass disease affects your central vision. So, when I see, this part of my vision is distorted. So, imagine looking at somebody's face or anything in the center, it's distorted. But I can see all around the peripheral area. I can see clearly. And in the middle, what I see, it's not, it's not totally blacked out or anything. It looks like, you know, when a camera flashes and you get the squiggly lines in your eyes for a little bit, it looks like that in the center of my eye. So imagine it takes me longer to see, again, certain people's faces. It takes me longer to read. I have to differentiate, is that a B or a D or when I'm reading numbers, is that a hundred or a thousand? So little things like that I just need to adjust, but again, I am doing it. Um, currently my eyesight is 20-50 on my left eye and 2300 on my right eye. So to put that in perspective, the average person's eyesight is 20-20. So that means when I see something in front of me, if I'm 20 feet away from it, the font or the image needs to be in 300 size for me to see it clearly. So think a store sign or something big, that's how I'm able to see. That's what I'm able to see. So again that is my current status. Uh, for the past what three years when I go to my annual checkups, it has plateaued, it hasn't got any worse, so thank you for that. I decided to name these videos Losing My Sight, Never My Vision because sight and vision are two completely different things. Sight is, well, let me read the definition. The definition for sight is the facility or power of seeing or a thing that one sees or that can be seen. That is sight. That is what I'm losing, my sight. Vision, on the other hand, is the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. So vision, I, it's forever growing. I will never lose my vision. I have a great plans for the future, visions, hopes, dreams. I have great memories from the past that I can live off of. So losing my sight, but never my vision. Okay, that's what the title means. I'm making these videos to bring awareness to star gods because there are one in 10,000 people are living with this disease. 
I'm also doing it to help raise money for research to find a cure for it one day. It may not be when I'm living, but one day there will be a cure. And I'm also doing these videos to show that just because you live with a disease or a disability that does not define your life for the person that you are and the things that you can do. So if you're living with this with a disability, please live your life as best as possible. Know that there are support groups out there and people that are going through it with you. You are not alone. You are not the only person living with the disease that you have or the disability that you have. I call Stargots a disease and a disability because disease, unfortunately, there's no cure for what I have and disability, it is impairing my vision. I'm not currently on disability or any assistance of some sort, but if I have to get there, I will take advantage of it. Again, I'm doing this to bring a new perspective of how you see people with a disability, hence my shirt. It says perspective. It is by the company Two Blind Brothers. They are also living with Star Gods and they make these awesome shirts and jewelry and everything and all the proceeds go to research to find a cure for Star Gods. So I'll link the I'll leave the link to them below. Check them out. But again, I just wanted to give you a little intro of what Star Gods is leading up to being diagnosed and my current state. I will elaborate more on other videos. Thank you so much for listening to me and taking the time to hear about my story. Um, I hope I have taught you something new and look up Star Gods, look up some pictures. I will put some pictures of my eyes up as well in other videos. I'll probably tape my yearly appointments with my doctor so you can see how that goes. But yeah, I'm just, I just really want to bring awareness to this disease. Stargots, I'm living with it, but it's not defining me. Alright, our squad, if you liked what you see, please hit that likes button, hit the subscribe button, share with everybody you know so they can learn about this disease and until next time wait for my other videos i'm gonna be doing a nice little series i'm gonna learn all about star gods okay thank you so much for watching peace